What's up, guys? This your boy, Mike, the one and only CEO of Always Touch Your Money, Inc. And I want to give you guys something to ponder on. So, if I can remember, it was 2011 when I pretty much was expelled from high school in my senior year. And even though I got expelled, I still was able to get my credits to pretty much get the diploma that I needed. Like I went to independent study after I got expelled. I finished my high school year that there, I graduated when I was 17. You know, even though I didn't get to walk across that stage, I still got my diploma. So here I was moving out of my mom's crib at the age 17. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know nothing about credit. I wasn't really experienced with anything as far as finances, you know, nobody taught me this. I had to learn on my own. You feel me? So here I was 17 trying to get my own apartment. I wanted a one bedroom, but all I could afford was a studio apartment. So here I had this studio apartment, you know what I'm saying? That my mom co-signed for, I had a fixed amount of income. Plus I went to community college. Now, when I went, the fact that I went to community college, I was able to use my financial aid as proof of income, you know, and then plus the fixed amount of income that I was getting every month. You know what I'm saying? So my rent was three eighty five, right? The fact that my rent was three eighty five, that was affordable back then. You know, I still affordable. I wish my rent was three eighty five right now, but it's not. But I say that to say this. Um, some of, some of our parents don't have good credit. You know what I'm saying? They can't co-sign for us a, a apartment or a car. You know what I'm saying? They don't ha don't have it like, you know, we want them to have it sometimes. And it's not their fault or our fault. So what you have to realize, okay, if you have a, a son or a daughter that's just now heading to high school or getting ready to get out of high school, it's it's better to to do it before they you know start high school. Their freshman year, start them a corporate entity. I usually recommend S corps, but if you decide you want to do an LLC, do an LLC. But we want to separate the liability of personal credit, business credit. And one way you can do that is with you know a, a S corp or a C corp. So let me say this. So. Don't get them just one apartment their senior year. Get them two apartments. Want to know why? Because, of course, they're probably not going to have a job fresh out of high school. You know, they're not going to have a job. I know I didn't have a job. I was just living off the fixed amount of income and going to college. You know, that's all my main focus was. You know, so you get them two apartments, both on a corporate lease. One for them to live in, the other one for them to use to sublease. But you got to make sure that, you know, it's allowed on that property. So the subleasing from platforms like Airbnb, um, Verbal, and Landon, right? You can make passive income with that. So that passive income will help your son or daughter pay for their rent and other expenses that they have to pay that we know, you know, that comes with life. You got to pay all these bills, cell phone bill, light bill, gas bill, um, car note, all that. You want to get that in the business name. So, you know, you, you get the, get the lights in the business name. You can report that as a, a trade line using a company by the name of eCredible. You get you get the cell phone bill in, in the business name. You get the car in the business name. And of course, we just said the apartment. So it's like all that can be reported on the business credit profile to strengthen it, right? So that way, you don't have to worry about them saying, hey, mom, I need you to co-sign for a apartment or dad, I need you to co-sign for a vehicle Get it in the business name. That's all you need to do. It's that simple. Please listen when I say this. If you want to learn more, go to alwaystouchyourmoney.com. See you guys on the other side.